welcome back to my channel and welcome to another comfort food for the entire family crock pot style let me just tell you about this recipe my husband said this was the favorite recipe that i have made in months he loved it he said it reminds him of thanksgiving dinner so what could be better than that because it was ww friendly and it was seriously you guys so incredibly delicious and filling and come oh it was so good definitely family friendly you have some chicken you've got some mashed potatoes it was really absolutely divine so if you want to see what ww comfort food for the entire family slow, cook slow cooker style i have in store stay tuned <music> For tonight's comfort food for the entire family, slow cooker edition, we are going to be making slow cooker French onion chicken. I am just going to pair this with some potatoes, which I will show you when I put together dinner. So let me show you what is in our French onion chicken. You're going to need some thyme, garlic powder, balsamic vinegar, just traditional flour, salt and pepper, croutons, two sweet onions, one can of beef broth. I always do the reduced sodium. I can't believe it's not butter light. You'll need some cheese. So I am doing half of the fat-free shredded mozzarella and half of the Trader Joe's light three cheese blend. By doing this, it cuts down on the points. If you go half regular cheese, half fat-free cheese, and you can't even tell the difference. And then of course, you're going to need quite a bit of chicken. So let's get started on tonight's dinner. The first thing we need to do is slice our onion. So we're just going to go ahead and take off the wrap here of our onion, the skin, and then we're just going to slice these. And I'm going to just slice them like you would if you were putting them on a hamburger. And then we're just going to set these aside. We are going to be doing a little bit of cooking on the stove before it goes into the crock pot and then to finish up the dinner we are having to finish cooking it in the oven so it's a little more involved than just your traditional crock pot dinner but that's what's going to give it that crispy french onion texture on the chicken so it'll all be well worth it in the end in a large pan you're going to go ahead and melt down two tablespoons of light butter to that we're going to be adding in our onions and we're just going to let these cook down for about five minutes or so just until they start to become translucent they don't have to cook all the way through but we do want them to start being a little bit more translucent i am going to add just a tiny bit of salt as well to the cooking process here of the onions and that butter will make them nice and buttery which should be delicious so let's get these onions cooked down and then we're going to go ahead and add in all balsamic vinegar so my onions are looking really good. They're becoming pretty translucent. So I'm gonna go ahead and add in two teaspoons of balsamic vinegar. And I'm just going to stir the onions up with that. Make sure your onions get nice and coated with that balsamic. We'll let it simmer here on the pan for just a couple of minutes. I went ahead and added my four breasts of chicken to my crock pot. Season them with salt, pepper, thyme, and garlic powder. To my chicken, I am going to go ahead and add in that yummy onion balsamic vinegar that we just cooked down, and then we'll be adding in our beef broth. So I have my onions with my balsamic mixture over my chicken. To that, I'm gonna go ahead and add my entire can of beef broth. And then I'm just going to give this just kind of a quick stir just make sure those onions get nice and coated in that broth and then we are ready to put our crock pot here on low for five to six hours when that time is up we will come back and we're going to do a little bit of cooking in the oven so i'll see you in five to six hours or five to six seconds So I just popped the lid off, it is about six o'clock, and I took one quarter cup of the broth here in the crock pot and mixed it here with two tablespoons of flour and created a roux. We're gonna go ahead and add that back into the crock pot, let that cook for five to 10 minutes just until the broth here gets nice and thick. So I went ahead and removed the chicken from the crock pot. It is so tender, it just fell apart. And then here is our gravy, so it has had a chance to thicken up quite a lot so i'm just going to pour it right on top of the chicken it's going to go into the oven for about 350 degrees but first we're going to put some cheese on top so there is our chicken with that gravy oh it looks and smells 
so good and then here i have one cup of fat-free mozzarella and then half of a cup of the trader joe's light mexican blend and i'm just going to sprinkle that right over the top and this is just going to go into the oven until the cheese is nice and melted on top and then we just top it with some croutons right before serving but this looks so delicious so i'll be back to show you the completed french onion chicken when it comes out of the oven so here's our French onion chicken right out of the oven. I have 10 tablespoons of croutons. I just weighed them out on my food scale and we're just going to go ahead and put these right on top and then we'll be ready to serve this up. So a serving is one chicken breast with one fourth of the gravy. This makes four servings total. We're gonna go ahead and pair that with some of these Idahoan baby red mashed potatoes they're super easy to make and they're only four sm smart points for half of a cup prepared so i'm going to get this chicken all plated up and i'll be back to give you the smart points and show you tonight's dinner all right so here is my dinner i have one fourth of the french onion chicken and again that one fourth of the chicken is seven smart points i think i misspoke and said four it probably is four on blue but on the green plan it is seven smart points and then i have one half of a cup of the idaho and baby reds for four so this is an 11 smart point dinner on the green plan thank you for joining me on another comfort food for the entire family all out of the slow cooker this French onion chicken was so good with those croutons. It was seriously amazing. Highly recommend the use of the sweet onions. I could definitely taste that sweetness in the recipe. So I highly recommend that you pick up sweet onions for it. Also, the mashed potatoes were great. They were really, really reminiscent of real mashed potatoes and you can't beat the smart points. Such a delicious, filling, satisfying meal. My husband is obsessed and has asked that I make it again. And it was easy because it was in the crock pot. Super, super easy. So if you wanna know the recipe and any modifications I made, it is linked down in the description box below, as well as all of my discount codes and websites, links to all of my favorite things. So definitely check it out. If you're not part of my Facebook group, head on over to that as well. We have almost 11,000 members and it's such a great, positive, supportive place to be. I will have it here on the screen for you and the link to join directly is down in the description box. So if you're new, welcome to Jen's WW Journey. I hope you subscribe and stick around. Hit that little bell so you're notified whenever I upload a new video. I'd love to have you be part of my YouTube friends and family and of course, Thumbs up this video if you're all about slow cooker, easy dinners, and comment down below and let me know if you're gonna give this a try for your family. I promise you guys, they're gonna love it. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all next time. Bye.